Joe Smith's wife does OnlyFans. <laughs> when I explained to you how he found out about this, I, I'm not sure how you're going to feel about it. But at the end of the day, when your wife does OnlyFans, and before you meet her, she did, you know, adult films, I'm not sure who to blame. BBN Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, Joe Smith, ex NBA player, Joe Smith. I believe he was a. First round, not just a first round pick, but a number one pick, Joe Smith. I might be incorrect about that. If I am, please put it in the comment. If I'm right, also put it in the comment section. Wife decided to do OnlyFans. And then when he went to her and said, what's going on over here? Is, she decided to tell the world. Okay. I want to be clear about something. So we have this uh, big push and I didn't think there was going to be a situation that we were going to discuss over here where I would uh, speak on this specifically. And that's this, this whole thing that's going on on social media now about women doing things so they can escape responsibility for their actions, you know, because <laughs> they don't want to be held accountability, uh, accountable, you know, a whole accountability thing. So I just want to say something real quick before we even get into a discussion about this whole entire matter that just happened. We wouldn't know anything if it wasn't for when he decided he wanted to address her on the matter. What she decided to do was to just go public and tell the whole world what she was doing. None of us would know any of this because she was so sure that she was doing nothing wrong. Being a married woman and with her husband having no knowledge of it, creating an account on social media where she's going to show the whole world a hoo ha. With that being said, apparently she came out and wanted to tell everybody about <laughs> what happened. So her story begins sort of like this uh, Joe Smith currently is seeing some chick on the side. You know, he has a friend. And the friend, I'm assuming she meant chick, by the way. Because there's no telling. We just seen what happened with your homeboy, uh, Dwight Howard's over the years. But I'm assuming it's a chick. So there's some chick that apparently is a friend of his. <coughs> Might be a little bit more. And she uh, was looking for, you know, allegedly. This is the, the wife's story, by the way. She was looking for something to tear their relationship, their marriage apart. And now, I want to be clear about this. The fact that she said that the girl was looking for something to tear the marriage apart. Not like you was doing something. <laughs> oh, man, my head. Anyway, so she said the girl was looking for something to tear the marriage apart. So she was on her uh, uh, Instagram, which actually has the uh only fans on it and that's where she saw it from right so she says she's been doing only fans for about a year and her husband never came to her and addressed it pardon me addressed her on it previously you know he doesn't care what i'm doing now i want to say something real quick one of the main things that I keep hearing complaints about on social media is people don't want to be in a relationship with somebody that's all on their social media, checking everything that they're doing and being nosy. But when you have a man not doing it, <laughs> not everybody, obviously, but we're talking about this specific situation. Also, also, I want to add who is to say that there really was some other chick. He might have just, he might just had been saying that 
being as when he found out her social media, this social media actually existed, he could have just been saying somebody told me, you know, not to make it look like he was snooping on her or trying to, you know, find out what the hell was going on because she's been acting a little different lately this last year. So <laughs> just so we could be clear. So apparently she thinks she's in the right. Um, and I have this much to say. Joe Smith knew that she had did adult uh, movies prior to them getting married. So I'm 100% like this. If you meet somebody in the strip club, right? And they're there for whatever the reason is that they're there. I don't know why they're there. They're there for whatever the reason that they're there. And then now you're in a relationship with them and you're constantly trying to tell them that, you know, have an issue with them being at the strip club. You met them there. You got into a relationship with a person that likes to party. Who are you to tell them that they can no longer party? Now, if they just chose to stop partying and that was before you, you know, engaged with them in any way, shape or form, that's one thing. That's up to you to decide. But she was doing adult films. So I guess we will have to multiply the seriousness of that by some. And then make that decision. Now with this also being said, just so we could be clear, she literally said the reason in which why she got involved with Joe Smith is so that her career could take off. Not that she cared about him. She was like, yeah, man, I thought that when I date this guy, my career was going to take off. It didn't. That's what she said. Something about wanting to be a singer. Her career didn't take off. Why am I pointing this out? Because as we can see, she doesn't like to accept accountability for anything. This specific person. She can just as easily be making her own failures Joe Smith's fault. People do this to you, fam. Just something to be mindful of when y'all out here deciding that you want to date the people that just majors in toxicity. Like, that's the most toxic MF I've ever seen. I got to propose. You know that this is going on. In any regard. And she did. She, had, she did a whole video and she, where she was basically saying, you know, she got involved with Joe Smith. Because she thought her career was going to take off. And she thought this was going to happen. And that, not in no way because she cared about this guy. So there's no telling what else he has to deal with, by the way. I'm just saying. He probably has to deal. He said, I, I don't know what to tell you. Somebody pray for Joe. Then she said she didn't even know if they. She did a TMZ interview. She was like, she doesn't know what's going to happen. I know what's going to happen. You a dub. Anyway, in any regard. She was like. She doesn't know what's going to happen. Why she sat up there with no rings on her finger. She said Joe went to his sister's house. Joe, you live there now. That's all I can say. <laughs> you live there now, Joe. I hope you brought a good, some under, change of clothes. A couple of pair of underwear until you can secure some new stuff. Because you live there now. So I also want to be clear about this. This woman. Who did not have to go public with the thing that she did. That he was admonishing her for. Because it was something that he didn't believe her, his, his wife should be doing. With all due respect. She tried to play the, this is my body. I can do what I want with my body card. Which is insane. You're married to somebody, so he could do whatever he want with his body too, right? So if he decides to just, you know, accidentally trip into some vagina, you should always be cool with it, right? If he decides that he wants to take on a couple of more wives in addition to you, you should be cool with it. You see how that sounds? Sounds a little different, right? Exactly. So... She tried to play this as my body, my right, 
I think she, I guess, you know, I guess she was trying to like get all the women to be like, be on my side, vaginas, vaginas unite. I guess that's what she was trying to do. I don't think she's been very successful at it. In any regard, um, Joe Smith, you married a woman that did adult pornography at one point or another. I have no idea why uh, you wouldn't expect at some point or another for this to be uh, a reoccurring issue. Also, also, she said something about them having money issues or money problems or something. Um, so do y'all got money problems or do you got money problems? Because if you're doing OnlyFans, I don't know how successful it is, but if you're doing OnlyFans and your husband doesn't know that you have any extra money, so are you saying that you don't got no money or he don't got no money? Because he, if he didn't have any money and you started showing up with checks, he wasn't going to say, where did you get this from? He's just going to be fine with you just coming up with half of the bills all of a sudden. So I don't know if we could even trust her when she says, you know, we having money issues because I need, I need to understand how you're going to explain to him all this extra income that's popping up out of nowhere. <laughs> so that just all sounds like flabbergastery. Anyway, let me know what y'all guys think about this. Uh, I just think this is absolutely bananas. Um, we got to do better. We just got to do better. There's nothing wrong with being a wife. There's nothing wrong with being a husband. Those are actually uh, dope things to be. Just like a mother and a father. Those are dope things to be. There's nothing wrong with being those things. Those are actually things we should all aspire to become. And to become great at. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I get on this one. I'm out.